I schedule everything that I'm going to do during the week. I say, I have to do yoga two times this week. I have to lift weights three times this week. I have to run twice this week. However I fit that in, I fit that in, but I owe those things. That's me. <laughs> My name is Josh. I'm 24 years old. My channel is all about just doing your life the best way possible, no matter what the situation. Uh, I kind of focus on the habits and systems that I've implemented in my life to just get the most out of whatever my situation happens to be. And I do that through just kind of sharing what I've been doing. You know, this isn't some guru channel. This is just me making videos and sharing what I've been doing in my life to make it happen. And I thought it'd be sweet to try Joe Rogan's workout routine. The, the fitness principles that he uses, kettlebells, yoga, recovery, diet, uh, running up hills are things that um, I ha all, we all have access to. So um, I bought some kettlebells, I canceled my gym membership, and I got at it, and this is what happened. Rogan, day one. I still have all of my hair, um, but here we go, I'm starting a new thing. So what I'm looking for out of this is just a more functional strength. I wanna be better at balance and just like moving my body efficiently in space. I'm also looking to just do workouts in a shorter period of time and kettlebells help a lot with that. These principles of using the entire body and you know, with kettlebells, using different parts of your body, using your legs, your core, your ab, all in one, one workout. It's also so, it's so effective time-wise because you can get a spectacular workout in a very short amount of time. The kettlebell itself moves freely through space, so it lets the, the, the object of the weight, the kettlebell, adapt to the physiology of your body and move freely into the space that your body needs it to rather than your body adapting to the shape of a barbell or a machine to move in like one specific plane. So. Uh, I've heard prevents injury that way as well. And that's something obviously I'm looking forward to, uh, looking to get out of this. I want to physically challenge my body like at to a high degree without just be being hurt all the time, having kinks in my hips and my lower back feeling sore when I get up out of a chair. I wanna be able to like, uh, to just be totally physically okay all the time, I guess, <laughs> is like the big stretch goal of the whole thing. What I did is I followed the Onnit 6 kettlebell program, which is a digital product offered by Onnit, which is uh, a company Joe Rogan's invested in that does like fitness implements, fitness programs, kettlebells, maces, and supplements. And I'm, I'm new to kettlebells in general, so I didn't really know what the moves were other than just like swinging it, you know? While the gym itself isn't something new to me, I've been working out for eight to 10 years, kettlebells themselves, I, like the moves and how to build a workout routine with just the kettlebell is something that's new to me. So I thought it would be worth investing in the course just to like build a foundation of what the moves are and how I can uh, like make a system that I like myself. So what did I do? Basically every week consisted of four plus kettlebell workouts, two plus sessions of yoga, and uh, a session running up the hill. So I just completed week one of the Rogan workout challenge. And as you can see, um, no, but I so far feel pretty good on the program. Like as far as physical well-being, I feel a little bit of soreness in like my lower back and my legs, but I think it's just because uh, like, you know, I come from just lifting where you hit legs with like squats and deadlifts and stuff like once or twice a week. So they have been getting more volume than usual, but it's a different kind of soreness. It's not like I bend over and my back hurts and I can't move. It's just like, just feels a little more worked, I guess. I feel stronger, feel good physically. I mean, I don't know about stronger, like I could bench press more than I could before, but I just feel a little bit nicer moving through space, uh, at least uh, maybe not even nicer, but, um, I, like I feel okay, you know, not uh, like I'm more athletic and agile or anything, but I feel fine, feel good in general most of the time. I feel great. I feel great. Really good. So I come from like bodybuilding, like bench pressing, squatting, doing stuff with barbells and machines. and. Uh, there's not as much of a like, oh my muscles are absolutely pumped and are huge and like I've worked my bicep and lat extremely well and done every angle of this exercise in the machine and now 
I'm feeling huge. There's not that feeling, which is an awesome feeling. A feeling that if you've never had, you should, because it's awesome. And it makes your muscles huge, and that's great. And uh, so there's not really that. But there is the, like, good endorphin of... Uh, uh, but what is an endorphin, by the way? We say that, like, when good feelings happen. Like, it's a chemical, right? Th so there's the good, like, post-workout feeling. Like, your body has been exerted, and hey, that feels great, and that's cool. It feels kind of dumb to just say, like, oh, it feels functional, you know? But it really just feels like your body's getting better at, like, being a body. You can be strong in random positions more, is what I'm feeling. I haven't really felt, like, injured at all, really, which is good. I'm not really feeling just, like, random soreness, which I kind of tend to feel a lot in re regular weightlifting. <sighs> like, moving through, sp you, you kind of, like, move through space more powerfully and efficiently. Like, squatting down really low to grab something, or bending over on one foot to, to pick something up, uh, or, like, and, like, reaching far for something. Like, your arm's all the way out here, yeah, you can still grab something and bring it back in. Like, maybe that's just something I didn't notice more when weightlifting, or didn't pay attention to that much when weightlifting, but it feels like uh, I'm doing things like that well more now, I guess, after three weeks of kettlebells. Uh, yeah, so kettlebells, good. <laughs> While I was in LA this weekend, we, uh, one day, uh, last Saturday, we hiked Chino Hills State Park. This is where I was. Mm. Probably 10 plus miles of 1,000, 2,000 like, feet of elevation gained and lost and gained and lost like over the total day. And uh, I was like torn up the next day. I was so freaking sore in the joints and the calves and the knees. But the thing is, I, like the day after that, I was like totally fine. By the end of the day, I, like after the hike, I was like, I can't believe I'm not more sore than this and I attribute the ability of my body to be dragged through the mountains like a wrecking ball to working out with kettlebells what that's resulted in is this ability to just like be able to throw myself at any situation physically that my body's not used to and come out you know being able to conquer that situation really well you know I've not my body's not used to hiking like at all really we plan like hey let's do this hike like just be absolutely wrecked at the end of it but the next day it's like dude all my little like auxiliary stabilizing muscles have been strengthened for this moment yeah I, I crushed it and it felt great you know there are high intensity moments of the hike where it's like oh there's the there's the peak there's the top there's where we're going and i can see it and i'm not going to turn around until i get up there and all that exists in the universe are my hamstrings and it's all i can feel and i'm trudging for it and i'm here and i made it and that was such an awesome feeling and like if i was someone that worked out with barbells and machines and just like isolating curls and leg press and stuff like that like my body would not be in the shape to just be able to be thrown at this situation that's been awesome i'm very thankful for the little ball of iron Things took a turn in like week five or six of the program. Um, as I said, when I started out, you know, like uh, working around injury and preventing injury even was a goal of, of, of doing uh, this style of workout. And <laughs> wouldn't you know, I go and hurt myself. Dude, I hurt my knee hiking in this trail, on this trail Sunday. And uh, I seem to have a problem with like descending, like going down is hard on my knees, right? which uh, I've always prided myself on as someone who never has had knee injuries, but <laughs> I hurt my knee. Yeah, what it is is like, like my muscles are super strong and stuff and I can go up, like I can press with my legs all day and hike up. But then when I go down, my descent form is just like not good and I put too much pressure on, on like my meniscus. It feels normal most of the time, but then like you hit it at a weird angle and it's like ah! for like a second. But the thing is, I can still, like, I've still been doing, like, kettlebell workouts and stuff. Because it's just, like, pressing. It's a different pressure. It's not like your body's leaning forward and your knee's kind of holding it back, but also holding you straight up, but also pressing down. And that, like, it kind of is what fucks with it, I guess. But you don't get that in just, like, squats and lunges and pressing and stuff. So, like, working out has been, okay, I'm still able to do it. So the balance of working around an injury 
versus like overtraining and making an injury worse is something I really wanted to take seriously and um, was something that I really thought kettlebells would lend themselves to in the beginning of the program. So it was, you know, while it sucks to be injured, it was interesting to see, to actually test this theory that I came into the whole kettlebell routine with. And I found that I was actually able to train around it. At-home workouts have been blowing up since the, the virus, the pandemic has started. People are trying to work out without getting out of the house. Kettlebells, by far the best way to do it. I injured my knee the other day and even despite that the way kettlebells kind of freely move through space you're able to like move in the way that's still comfortable for your body so uh, I thought I wouldn't be able to work out today but I, I was it was great <laughs> if you've been injured you kind of know you know what's gonna make it go off and like which positions you can put your body in that will hurt the injury and I found that with the kettlebells I was actually able to work out despite it kind of like adapt my body and adapt the weight itself to the movements and still do them without hurting myself further <music> like the recovery aspect. Yoga really helped me uh, just to focus a whole day on decompressing and like moving into those ranges of motion that uh, like yeah, you, you kind of need to stretch your body into to undo the pain that you did to it in the like actual working of the muscles. The mental challenge of yoga is like really productive I think as well. Just the kind of meditative uh, egoless state that you can get into just exploring the ranges of motion that your body gets into and like learning about your body moving through space uh, that whole idea of this entire program um, yoga really helps with that too it really accomplished what i wanted it to i'm not spending money on a gym membership i'm not wasting time driving to the gym like getting dressed and changing for the workout like at the gym um, all of like the the in-between time of the gym routine, like going to the gym and doing all that stuff, was cut out. I just, you know, started warming up on the floor in my room and got right into the workout when it was time. So it fit into my schedule a lot better. Just the fact that uh, you can get such an intense workout that is both like gets your heart rate up, works the muscles, works the entire body in, in singular movements. Um, it helped me do more in less time also and it just made my body a more efficient machine you know I'm able to like move through space better like my I just feel like my joints in space like moving around functionally are better <laughs> you know there's not that feeling of just like beat upness uh, like I just I don't feel like totally burnt out all the time. I don't feel weak in my knees and lower back and, and shoulders like you do kind of just working out six days a week of bodybuilding style training at the gym. The vessel just feels better. I can't really explain it. Like I'm sitting here, you know, I had a hard workout yesterday and the day before and I feel fine. You know, I feel stronger, but I feel fine. You know, we kind of associate that like soreness feeling worse the day after with like having a good workout, but I really don't think that that's like, you don't have to feel that like you, your body does get better with training and it doesn't have to feel like shit the day like the next day you know so the kettlebells have accomplished that so one thing that was really cool about this whole experience was uh, I invited my younger brother to join me on the journey and instill the habit of exercise in him for the first time so uh, it was really cool seeing him get his first gains and go through the experience of exercising and working out and building muscle for the first time. Well, I once in a while go to the Y and use the machines, but mm -hmm. that's pretty much all. How did this compare to using machines, using the kettlebell? It was different because you have to um, balance the weight in mm -hmm. different ways. You kind of have to use your whole body, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, the machines like move differently. It's more artificial movement than like using a kettlebell where it just is supernatural yeah and you can just move it however you want mm -hmm. do you did you notice that it like made you stronger and better like at sports yeah while you were doing it mm -hmm. yeah when we were working out uh i went to a baseball clinic and that's like the first time i ever played baseball since last year oh yeah yeah so i definitely noticed my the speed I throw the ball increased. Mm -hmm. Like the ball felt way lighter than it was 
before nice. so it just felt super easy to throw do you think you're gonna keep working out yes um i'm glad we did this that was really cool it's yeah. cool to like see you doing stuff that i did when i was your age you know <laughs> yeah cool man thanks so in conclusion yeah do i recommend it of oh, yes <laughs> if you couldn't tell yeah dude get get your gym membership buy a kettlebell or two and uh you can get by with youtube workouts you know like search full body warm-up full kettlebell workout full body cool down and do that three times a week and you will not regret it it's fun to like make a spot for your kettlebell and like the area that you work out and like make that your little fitness shrine where you work on your body it's cool i don't know like it saves time works the body just as well if not better keeps you healthier guys if you enjoyed this video please subscribe please like the video comment uh whose routine should i do next now i don't know if i'll do that and if you want to show the world that you thrive all the time i've got these available in the description free thrive stickers fill out the form and i'll throw it in an envelope and send it to you if you're somebody who puts stickers places uh this, this is a good one <laughs> so appreciate you watching and i'll catch you in the next one thank you Thank you to John, Ian, Ty, Nick, Ben, Ryan, and Trenton for picking up a hoodie. Also thank you to Ashley, Colin, Kyle, Paula, Danny, Sam, Samantha, Jared, Travis, Bridget, Kendrick, Michael, Juddy, Emily, Amaka, Jade, Jess, Trinity, Eric, Jesse, Ellie, Harpreet, Jordan, John, Riley, Dante, Ryan, Elijah, Alec, Olajuwon, Matt, Anna, Eamon, Giovanni, Jackson, Jesus, Johnny, Milena, Kimberlyn, Alex, Min Kang, Hayden. Thank you guys so much.